Okay, let's do a walk around on the uh, 73 Dart. I had the bumpers re-chromed. Took those off, had it re-chromed. Um, I put on the scoops, put on the vinyl top, put on the wing, put on some new tires front and back. These are 215 65R15s. These are 235 60R15s on the back, so a little bit wider. They were as wide as I could go. There's no modifications on the wheel well or anything, and there's no rubbing. Gator grain top I bought from Legendary. Guaranteed you won't see another one like this. This was actually an original equipment vinyl on some year and model Chryslers. You could get it through Dodge, I believe Plymouth as well. But um, they didn't put this top on this car this year. So uh, it's probably one of a kind. It had a green vinyl top, it was kind of sad, it had some tears and just some, you know, just, just beat. And so um, I wanted to change the top and when I called for the Legendary, they offered me this material and it was a special offer, last of the run, when it was gone, it was gone and so I, I went for it. I think it came out great. It's got a nice cam. A mild cam. A nice idle. This is cold, but it's still, you know, it's got a nice idle. It's got an antique plate on it from '73 with a '73 um, inspection registration. That the bumpers re chrome. I didn't put the bumperettes on the front, I left those off. Uh, she's rust free, she's straight. A couple of little dings. I'll try to point them out. So there's one. The, the gentleman who built the car I bought from. Um, he didn't want to touch the body, and he's a he's an expert body man. So she's a driver. I'd take her anywhere. Comfortable, reliable. This is uh, 383, and um, this is a kit you could buy engine mounts, headers, everything custom built to fit. It's got a nice upgraded AC system, runs great. I put on a new carburetor, Edelbrock um, 650. New battery, I think I changed the battery not too long ago. This is actually a, a kill switch just for security. It's got a hidden toggle underneath the dash and so... Um, so you could... 
I, I, I did that for security. Runs good. I got all the specs on the motor. It was uh, bored out 40 over. Stock crank, stock rods, new pistons, a crane cam, I believe, and I got the specs. Um, it's got Hughes performance heads, big valves, um, ported. So he put some money into those. Um, I, got, I got some, uh, I changed the headlights, the HID. So you get some nice bright white headlights. The interior is really clean. It's got the uh, wood grain throughout. The nice green vinyl with a green dash. I like the bench seat in it because the dog likes to sit in my lap and so he can stretch out. But it's super comfortable. But uh, what I really like is the pistol grip. And so uh, it's got all the goodies. pictures and I'll put her up on the lift to um, show you the underneath. It's a nice cruiser. I've enjoyed it. That's just the brake switch. When you pull the brake handle out, that light comes on. It goes out. Uh, it's got a reverse light that lights up the lights in the back. There's the alternator. That works. The temperature was disconnected when I put in the, the water temperature and the fuel gauge. I just filled it. When I run it down to about half, it shows empty. And I go to fill it and you put in about, um, I don't know, seven or eight gallons. So um, it never bothered me. I always just kept a half a tank or more in it. You'll never run out of fuel, but if you're on E, um, you probably still got half a tank. I think that's a pretty easy fix. I just never bothered. Clear title. Yeah, nice oil pressure. And she runs cool. She gets up to about um, 180 normally. You're on the AC. She's 190 on a hot summer day. But... Um, it's got the shroud and the radiator does a fine job with the um, it was upgraded radiator for the for the big block. All right, that's it. I'm gonna take some pictures.